And this traffic is going to play a big role right now. Ooh, Rusty didn't get off a two at all that time. Here comes Gordon, right up against the back bumper. Everybody in the crowd on their feet. Three laps to go. Slow the traffic. I think caused that right there. Here comes Gordon, right up to the bumper again. Did you hear that wheel spin, Benny? Yeah, I did hear that wheel spin. <laughs> the bump and run. There it is. Gordon underneath to the lead. Two laps to go. Come back. <laughs> Jeff better hope not. <laughs> 31 races since Jeff Gordon has been to victory lane. The much publicized dry spell could come to a close in one more lap around the Bristol half mile. He dominated the opening part of the race, got caught back in, back in traffic after a late pit stop, but the bump and run is going to get Jeff Gordon to check Gordon wins the Sharpie 500 at Bristol. Here's a discussion about the bump and run. We've seen this before between these two. Mm -hmm. Well, on the way in, he was reviewing with his crew the incident that happened a couple years ago with Jeff Rusty. What do you have to say about this? It's just racing, I guess, you know. It's just up. Uh... I would have liked to won. It's been a long time since I won, but it's been a long time since Jeff won, too, and I know he won it real bad, too. You think, I mean, that's obviously why it was such a fight. You, you guys are both hungry for this win. Yeah, we're real hungry for it. It's been a long time since I won. I guess my day's coming, but, man, I've tried real hard, real hard, and uh, they get nailed in the rear end in the last lap and turned sideways. That was, I didn't expect it. But I got behind that 25 car, just couldn't get around them. The lap car slowed me down, and when I got to them, I knew I was going to have a problem. And I lost the front, I lost the air to the front. It allowed Jeff to get up on me in my rear end, and uh, just enough to get, get he, he just got to me where he could hit me. I was trying desperately to knock the out of him. I just couldn't catch him. You can imagine what this is going to be like. He's already shaking hands with Robbie Loomis, who's car owner Rick Hendrick. I may not need to do an interview. I'm trying. I really am. <laughs> hey. Welcome home. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, God. So thankful. I'll tell you, uh, you know, I, I just wanted it really, really bad. Uh, you wanted this night race at Bristol bad. You know, I did want that, but I just wanted to take advantage of an opportunity. These guys gave me such an awesome race car, great pit stops all day, all night long, and, uh, you know, they deserve a win. We, we don't uh, we don't deserve to be written about about our losing streak, so thank God that's over. And I really just want to thank God for uh, for everything, getting us through so much, you know. These guys stuck together. This is going to do so much for this race team. Let me thank DuPont and uh, uh, GMAC, Quaker State, Pepsi, Fritos, uh, Everybody just make this thing happen. Haas, EDS, we're just, we're so fortunate. Lowe's, uh, Chevrolet, it's just been an amazing night. I, I mean, I, I feel like this is the first time I've ever won. <laughs> How about the passive Rusty, Jeff? Yeah, you know, he got uh, bottled up in some traffic, and I knew if I could get to him, you know, I could make a move, and he got real loose, shut the door on me, and once he shut the door on me, I said, all right, you know, fair game right there. So, you know, I, I got into him a little bit. He got loose, and... Uh, I hope he'll understand tomorrow. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you.